Hello, today I'm recreating Samin Nasrat's tuna confit video she did for munchies. I'm excited because I get to film today at my mom's house. So to a deep pan, add two and a half cups of extra virgin olive oil, add chile de arbol, a teaspoon of black peppercorns, two bay leaves, four garlic cloves, and two one inch strips of lemon skin. The temperature of the oil should come up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I seasoned the tuna steaks with a generous amount of salt on each side 10 minutes prior to poaching. I am using yellowfin tuna. Confit means to cook slowly and fat. This piece took me about 15 minutes because it was super thick. And I still had it at a nice medium rare pink in the center. Thinly slice one red onion and bathe it in red wine vinegar and let it sit for 10 minutes. This is called macerated onion. Meanwhile, I cut up a few Kalamata olives, green olives, and capers. I eyeballed them and chopped them up together. Make an aioli. Eyeball the ingredients, use some mayo, lemon, and one minced garlic clove, and some salt. I cut thin slices of tomatoes and sprinkled some salt to draw out water. Remove the tuna steak, let it cool. After it's cooled, shred it and mix olives and capers and some of the red wine vinegar juice from the onions. In the video she did, she said to mix in the cucumbers. I ended up hating that idea, so I stopped adding them. Use the crustiest bread you can find, and I'm using a French baguette. Now add some mayo to one side of the bread, and on the other side, you can scoop up some of the remainder olive oil. Add the cucumbers, tuna, onions, and fresh basil leaves. This tuna is tedious, but the end product outshines the process. This sandwich hit all the right notes for me. Savory, salty, crunchy, and the crusty bread softened up a bit with all the juices spilling from the sandwich. Um, also, you can uh, store this tuna, just store it in a container and then put the oil back on top of it and it should keep for like two weeks. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.